What's up, future flippers? So I am getting a ton of questions right now about if it's a good time to buy a house, is it a good time to start your house flipping business, is it a good time to invest and buy rentals, interest rates are so high, what should I do as a beginner? Well, let me start off by saying in this video, we're gonna cover exactly that from the beginner perspective, but I also wanna share with you a little bit about what I am doing as somebody who's heavily invested in real estate to the tunes of tens of millions of dollars. So First off, for me, um, I've been in the market since 2010. Um, I got started as an agent, as many of you know, started flipping houses in 2015, and you know, been flipping ever since. We started our own multifamily fund last year where we've bought almost 480 units. So I've got a lot of different experience in all forms of real estate investing. Um, on the experience side, you know, most guys who are in my position are just adapting their strategy. It's not like anybody's just stopping completely and just shutting their companies down. Um, I think there are people who do that that are maybe solopreneurs, but if you're a guy like me and you've got employees everywhere, and you know, we've got probably, I would guess, 15 employees on my real estate investing team, it's not like I can just go shut the company down because things are moving slower today. No, we, we have to just continue to adapt. And that's why we've been in business for you know, going on eight years now, flipping houses, because we've always been able to adapt to the different markets. Now, for us, you know, we know that flipping houses right now is more difficult than ever because, you know, interest rates are really high, buyers can't pay as much for houses, and, you know, just selling the houses in general takes a lot more time. But we also know that that leads to more opportunities for deals. If there's less competition on the front end to buy a deal, um, you should be able to get a better deal than you could say a year ago when you know, everybody was bidding on properties, everybody's overpaying because there's just this huge frenzy for houses. So what I would say is if you are looking at getting started flipping, um, you can still definitely do that, but you just need to get really good deals. And this is the same approach we're taking. You know, if we're gonna flip, it, it used to be that we would wanna make at least 10% of the ARV. So if the you know, ARV, for those you don't know, is after repair value. And essentially we wanna make 10% of whatever that is. So if it's $500,000 house, we wanna make $50,000 if, if we're gonna flip it. Well, today we are pushing that number much higher. We are saying that, hey, for us to do a deal, we wanna be around 15% um, profit of ARV versus 10, or even sometimes it used to be like six or 7% on flips because we knew the market was so hot that six or seven might end up becoming 10 or 12 or even 15 because the market being that hot. But now you gotta underwrite your deals a lot more conservatively because we don't know where the market is going. Right now, you know, it's flat and it very well could decline. Do I think it's gonna decline off a cliff tomorrow? Absolutely not, I don't think that's happening. But you do need to be prepared that if your house is gonna take four, six months to you know, get it fixed up on the market and sold, you gotta predict where do you think the market's gonna be four to six months from now? You know, If the market is down, say, 5%, doesn't mean that you can't flip, it just means that you need to take that into your equation and make sure you have a bigger margin for error right? If the market ends up going up during that time or it stays the same, cool. You're going to be just fine. You're going to actually make more money than you thought. But if it does in the event go down, like a lot of people think it will, you can still make money flipping houses. In fact, at Future Flipper, we've got thousands of students, hundreds in our coaching program, um, just like right now at this very moment. And many of them are flipping houses very successfully right now. They're still buying properties. I'm still buying properties and all that. Long story short, flipping is harder right now at this very moment. There's no doubt about it. And I predict for the next six months or so, it's gonna continue to be more difficult. Um, I, I truly believe it was easier to flip the last two years when prices were just shooting up. You know, anybody who bought a house could, could make money. Uh, it's easy when prices are going up, but it's um, harder during the transition to where we're at today. So for me, um, what I am telling you is things are gonna get a little bit harder here in the coming months, but it does not mean you can't make money. Now, if you're a beginner, knowing all that, <laughs> should you start trying to flip houses or buy rentals or wholesale today? I think absolutely, right? Like if you don't wanna do it, are, are you just gonna take six months off, a year off, and wait for the market to get hot again, and then it becomes ultra competitive? Or are you gonna start today when there's less competition and you can hone your skills on finding great deals? Because at the end of the day, 
finding great deals is the currency of this business. You know, if here in Las Vegas, you gave me a house that right now is valued at half a million dollars and you got it under contract for 350,000, regardless of what you think the market's gonna do, I can promise you, you are gonna make money on that house. I will buy that house from you for probably over $400,000. And you know, at the end of the day, it's just a matter of finding deals. If you can get really good at finding deals, you will make money in this market. And what you do with that deal is completely up to you. You could flip it yourself, you could JV it with a guy like me, you could wholesale it, you could keep it as a rental, you could Airbnb it, the list goes on and on. Um, my point is, nobody should just do nothing and sit on the sidelines during this time, all right? Go out there, look for deals, make things happen, go make money, and I think it's a great time to hone your skills. Um, now that being said, for those of you who are watching this that are maybe a little more experienced, um, I think a lot of people might be tempted to, uh, I, I guess, spend less money on marketing or try and like lay people off and all this stuff. I don't believe in that. In fact, I, I am a contrarian in everything that I do. If everybody else is taking their foot off the gas, you know, uh, where's the edge at? Well, the edge is advertising space should cost less because less people are doing it. Um, you know, more people would see my ads and everything else. So I should be getting more leads. And you know, the only difference is, can we convert those leads to the margin that we're looking for, right? If you know, we now want a 15% margin on ARV, you know, that's basically double of what we've been looking for the past two years. And so sellers are going to have to get more realistic with us if you know we're gonna do deals. And I think you're starting to see that now. You know, for the past couple of months, sellers have kind of still thought the market's really hot, and so they're not willing to give these huge discounts that we need. But now you're starting to see them come around and say, okay, you know, my house has been sitting on the market, doesn't look like I'm gonna get what I want, so you know, let's talk. I might be willing to take the cash offer. And that's where I think there's gonna be a lot of good deals. In fact, I am starting to keep a lot more rentals in really good areas because um, traditionally, I haven't been able to get those deals um, at a good enough margin where I wanted to keep it as a rental, right? Um, maybe we flipped a lot of those homes, but most people were just overpaying for the good area homes um, way more than I wanted to pay. And so I wasn't able to acquire a lot of them and keep them. But today, I'm able to keep a lot of those homes because there's just less competition. And when I look at the time horizon of those rentals and knowing that, you know, I'm gonna hold these things for five, 10 years, maybe more, um, I'm totally fine. I'm fine with interest rates being high. I'm fine with um, knowing that I, I'm gonna refinance at some point when they lower rates. You know, I'm fine even if the market does come down a little bit. Like, I'm, I'm holding it long term, so I'm not worried about it. And, you know, at the end of the day, the biggest thing I'll say is there is still a huge shortage of housing. There's not enough. There's not enough rentals. Like, you watching this video right now, have you been able to go find a rental? that you really like that's affordable? No, it doesn't exist. There's not a lot of rentals anywhere in you know, the major cities. Um, the same thing is still true even with buying houses right now. Like, Even though a lot of people aren't buying because the demand's low, there's still not a huge supply of homes inventory-wise in many markets. You know, um, The level of inventory we have has skyrocketed in terms of what's actually selling, right? The way we define inventory um, at Future Flipper and for most house flippers is we take the active listings divided by the last 30 day sales. And so, you know, for us in Vegas, we've got around four and a half, five months of inventory. It's not good, it's a buyer's market. Um, it's not good for flippers, I should say, it's good for buyers. But um, in terms of the actual active listings, we've had more active listings in Vegas. It's just more, there was more demand for those active listings before. Right now we have less demand because of interest rates and you know, a lot of fear in the market. So um, long story short, I think there's a lot of opportunity to buy, but even when you buy, just understand, there's still not a lot of supply, even on the active uh, inventory side and on the supply side just in general. Um, but there is also not a lot of demand from the buyers. And so if you're flipping, just understand, you know, you're not gonna have as many buyers. And so you gotta really do a good job on your flip. You're gonna have to give closing costs. You're gonna have to do repair requests. You're gonna have to adapt, maybe offer more incentives and commissions to agents. Um, there's a lot you can do to get your listing really um, just like desirable for people. 
And that's where it just comes down to, if you build all that into your underwriting initially, and you have a big enough margin, and you're underwriting conservative, and you know not trying to shoot for the moon, um, you can win in this market, you can buy safely. There's a lot of deals out there. There's a lot of sellers who are getting more realistic. And uh, if you stick with it, you're gonna win. So anyways, personally, I'm going full steam ahead in uh, my real estate investing business. We're still buying apartments, we're still flipping, we're still wholesaling, I'm buying rentals. Our students are still having a ton of success. Yes, it is harder to sell right now at this very moment. And I predict that will continue for the next six months. But after that six months, those who stayed with it and built their businesses are gonna crush it. So that's my take. Uh, if you wanna join our community at Future Flipper, go to futureflipper.com. You can apply to join the coaching program. You can network with all the other students that are in your market. And uh, we would love to help you through these next six months because trying to navigate it on your own is gonna be really tough. But if you're in the right community with the right coaches and the right blueprints, you're gonna win. So uh, check it out and thanks for watching. Peace.